Hey everybody, it's Robert again here welcoming you to another edition of Stratomatic Replay and the 1927 World Series. For those of you who want to know how the first game went of my replay, you're going to have to watch it. But I can tell you, the Pittsburgh Pirates lead the New York Yankees one game to none after the first game. And uh, that was a pretty amazing game as I was able to beat Wait Hoyt in that first game. But we know that this is a series. And I've already done what I would at least set out to do is at least win a game. Now, can I win both games here at uh, in Pittsburgh before we go back to New York? That's a question. Now, in the second game of the series, the Yankees beat the Pirates 6-2. to two. Uh, George Pipgrass was the winning pitcher against Vic Aldridge. So we're going to see if we can win the second game here before we go back to Yankee Stadium for games 3-4 and maybe and possibly game 5, depending on how that goes. Uh, the first game was exciting. I have a funny feeling the Yankees are going to come right after me with everything they got. I don't know if we're going to get them on this one. But let's uh, let's take a look, shall we? As we set up here for game number two. And I'm going to keep the lineups as it is. Uh, there's no need to change. So let's play some ball. And as you know, I set the Yankees as the computer as I'm playing Welcome the Pirates. to the stadium for today's ball game. game. We welcome you back here to an average day at Forbes Field for Game 2 of the 1927 World Series between the New York Yankees and the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Pirates lead the series one game to none. Starting pitcher for the Pirates in this game will be Vic Aldridge in 1927. 15 wins, 10 losses, a 4.26 ERA. He was He's not as strong as... Uh, he wasn't strong. He's not as strong, okay, on the in the lineup. But I think maybe we might be able to pull one out here. The fans are going crazy here at Forbes. Let's get the game underway. It will be Earl Combs leading off for the Yankees, and he starts the game off with a clean home run, and that was actually off of Aldridge's cards. So it's a homer off of Vic Aldridge, and just like that, the Yankees jump out in front, one to nothing. Here's Mark Koenig. Koenig walks, so he'll go to first. And now we see, of course, the babe. And I've already shown the cards here, but for certain players, I'll show them again. Here's Babe Ruth in 1927, batted 356, 60 home runs, 164 RBIs, basically a hitting machine. But we kept him quiet in the first game. Let's see how he does here. It's a fly ball to center, and Wayner will make the play, one out. And now we'll see Lou Gehrig, 373 in 1927. 47 homers, 175 runs batted in. Here's the pitch to the Iron Man. He strikes out. And now coming up for New York is going to be Bob Musil. Musil strikes out. So we only give up the home run, but that is it. New York 1, Pittsburgh coming up, bottom of the first. George Pipgrass. Pitches for the Yankees. Ten wins, three losses, a 4.12 ERA in 1927. 81 strikeouts. Lloyd Wayner leads off for the Pirates. It's a ground ball to Lazari at second. He makes the play. One out. And now we'll see Glenn Wright. Wright hits a single to left. Musso will toss it into Koenig. So the Pirates get a runner on. And now here's Kiki Kyler, Hall of Famer. And that's going to be a fly out to left. And Musa will make the catch on this one for the second out. And now we have Paul Wayner coming up. Wayner's going to drive the ball to center for extra bases. We'll send the lead runner. The low, it's a double for Wayner. He holds it second. And the Pirates tie the game right up. So I'll tell you right now, this Pittsburgh team is not afraid of Murderer's Row. Here's Pie Trainer. With a runner on second base. Trainer, it's a single to right. I'll send the runner, see if I can get him in to score. They are going to cut the throw and allow it to score. And the Pirates now lead 2-1. So the Yankees make the big get the big homer in the top of the first. But the Pirates get two big base hits in the bottom of the first. And we take a 2-1 lead. Here's George Grantham. 
Grantham's going to get himself a base hit. Trainer, not really a threat. We'll hold him at second. And we'll bring up Joe Harris for the Pirates. That's a ground ball to short. And the inning comes to an end. Pittsburgh 2, New York 1, top of the second coming up. Here's Tony Lazeri for the Yankees. Steer Reichout. Strikeout thrown by Aldridge, and we'll bring up Joe Dugan. Dugan hits a fly out to left. And now here's Benny Bengo. That's a pop fly to short, and Wright will put it away. Three up, three down. And Johnny Gooch, baseball name, will bat. He leads off for the Pirates. It's a line out right to Lazari, one man down. And now here's Aldridge, the pitcher. He pops it up. Koenig settles under it, makes the catch for the second out. And now we'll see Lloyd Wayner. He walks. The Pirates get a runner on. And now we'll see Glenn Wright. And that's a strikeout. Third inning, George Pipgrass. The leadoff batter for the Bronx Bombers. And he's going to get himself a base hit. So Pipgrass goes to first. Not really a threat to steal. And here's Combs. Combs is a fly ball to center. Wayner will settle under it and make the catch. And now we see Mark Koenig. Koenig lines one right to Harris at first. And now here is DeBabe. That's a fly ball to center, and Wayner will catch it and end the inning. Bottom of the third, Kiki Kyler, Hall of Famer, but not in one of his more decent years in 1927, a 309 average, three homers, 31 runs batted in, but you can see he only batted 285 here, so it wasn't one of his better, even though he did bat over 300, but he pretty looks like he missed about, uh, about two-thirds of the season. Here's Kyler. He strikes out. And now we'll see Wayner. Wayner hits a base hit to left. Musa will toss it in. And now here's Pi Trainer. He's one for one with an RBI. There's a ground ball to short, over to second, over to first, and the side retired. Three innings in the books. The Pirates lead the Yankees 2 1 here at Forbes Field. This is game two of the 1927 World Series. The Pirates lead it one game to none. Lou Gehrig leads off for the Yankees, top of the fourth. That's a ground ball to right at short. He makes the nice play. One out. And now we'll see Bob Musil. Musil, it's a single to right. Wayner will throw it into Grantham. The Yankees get a base runner. And here is Tony Lazeri. Lazeri grounds one to second. Grantham's only play is the force. Musil moves over to second. And now here's Dugan. Dugan strikes out. So after giving up the home run, Vic Al Pittsburgh's Vic Aldridge has done pretty well, shutting down, the, uh, shutting down the Yankees. Bottom of the fourth, George Grantham leads off for the Pirates. And he's plunked. So Grantham will go to first, a threat to steal definitely. Can we get the attempt? He can't get the lead. And so we'll have Joe Harris. Harris, uh, not a bad chance to hit and run. Let's see what he can do here. Do we try the hit and run? It's a ground out to first. It moves Grantham over to second one out. And now here's Gooch. Gooch, it's a fly ball to center. And Combs will make the play for the out. And now here's Aldridge. And the pitcher grounds out to Dugan, who will make the play back at first. Fifth inning, here's Benny Bengo. He leads off for the Yanks, and that's a line out right to Trainer, And it brings up the pitcher, Pipgrass. Pipgrass, it's a deep fly to right, but Wayner will make the catch for the second out, and now here's Earl Combs. That's a walk. Combs had the home run, and now here's Koenig. Koenig hits a fly out to right, and the inning comes to an end. Bottom of the fifth, coming up now for the Pirates. And Lloyd Wayner leads off for Pittsburgh. It's off of Ben Goh's catcher's car. It's a high pop foul near the stands. And it's a fan interference. So Wayner is out and one down. 
And that will bring up Glenn Wright. Sometimes you got to tell those fans to stay in their seats. There's a strikeout. And now here is Kiki Kyler. Two men down. A fly ball to Ruth. Ruth will make the catch to end it. All the scoring was done in the first. We are now in the sixth. And here's Babe Ruth. Ruth is having... Uh, interesting here, he's batting only 167, but even though it's still early, but we know what the Babe can do. Here's the pitch to the Babe, and he'll take a walk. Tying run at first, and here's Lou Gehrig. He's only batting 200 so far for the series. That's going to be a fly out to right. And now here is Bob Musil. Musil, it's a ground ball to Grantham. He will make the play. He gets the force at second. But Musa will go back to will go to first. And now here's Lazari. Lazari fouls it up, pops it up to short, and Wright is going to be under it, and he'll put it away. Bottom of the sixth. Paul Wayner. Wayner gets himself a clean single. He'll go to first. Wayner definitely a threat to steal here. Can I get the lead? He can't get the lead. And we got Pie Trainer. Pretty good with the hit and run. Let's see if we can get the hit and run. Hit and run is on. It's a ground out to second. Wayner will go to sec will go to second. So we get the a go a, another run in scoring position for George Grantham. And it's a wild pitch. Wayner goes to third. So Pipgrass uncorks a wild one. Now we got the a runner at third base. The infield is in. It's a ground ball to Lazari. He will make the play, and Wayner will have to hold. So we don't get the run in, and now Joe Harris will come up. But Harris is going to come through with a base hit. Wayner scores. It's 3-1 Pittsburgh. Harris will go to first. Gooch at the plate. It's a ground ball to Dugan, but he will make the play at second. To end the inning, Pittsburgh 3, New York 1. Six are in the books here at Forbes Field. The Pirates lead the series one game to none. I'm actually surprised I'm having such an easy time here. But, so there's still three innings left to go in this game. And Joe Dugan leads off for the Yankees. And that's a line out right to right. One out right to right. And now here's Ben Gaw. And the Yankees will get a base hit. Ben Gaw will go to first. He'll hold there. And now here's Pipgrass. Pipgrass, it's a fly ball to center. And Wayner will make the play. Two men out. And the batter now is Earl Combs. Combs, it's a base hit to right. Ben Gaw will stay at second. So runners at first and second now. And here's Mark Koenig with two outs. Two big runs on the, on the base pads for the Yankees. But he strikes out. Who was the last player to hit 400 in the major leagues? The 406. Of course, that would be the splinted splinter, Mr. Ted Williams. We go to the bottom of the seventh. And here is Vic Aldridge leading off for the Pirates. The pitcher grounds out the third, one man down. And now we see Lloyd Wayner. Wayner gets himself a double. He'll go to second. Another big run is on base. And now here's Glenn Wright. Wright hits a line out right to short. Koenig will make the play. Wayner has to hold. And now here is Kiki Kyler. Can Kyler make a big hit? Nope. Grounds one to short. And Koenig will throw it over to Gehrig to end it. We go to the eighth. And here is the babe. And he walks. Babe Ruth walks again. Let's see. He how I would tell me he got on 138 walks here. Right? That's one thing I didn't mention. So basically, he got on base, but now the tying run at the plate in the form of the Iron Man. Garrick pops one up in the air, and Wright will come down with it at short. One out, and now here's Bob Musil. That's off a of Gooch, 
And it's going to be an error. That's a big error by the Pirates. It allows Ruth to go to second. And now here's Tony Lazari. You just gave the Yankees an extra out. Let's see if Aldridge can get himself out of the jam. Here's the pitch to Lazari. There's a ground ball to Trainer. Over makes the play to Grantham. Over to Harris. And he does get out of the jam. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Paul Wehner leads off for the Pirates. And that's going to be a line out to second. Lazari with the play, one out. And now here's Pi Trainer. Fly ball to left. Musil is there for the second out. And now Grantham. Grantham takes a walk. And we now see Joe Harris coming up. Harris drives the ball to center for extra bases. Yes, we got to send the lead runner. Try to get the run. They do allow to run the score. Double for Harris. Run scores. 4-1 Pirates. Murderer's Row is murdering themselves, it looks like, in this case. Two outs, but now Harris is on at second. And now here's Gooch. It's a ground ball to Gehrig, and he makes the play. Pittsburgh 4, New York 1, top of the ninth. Aldridge is still on the mound. I'm going to take a look and see how he's doing here. Says he's okay. But now with a 4-1 lead, lead, I think I can lead him in there. The, the Yankees will have Dugan, Ben Go, and I'm pretty sure a pinch hitter for Pipgrass. The Pirates are three outs away from taking the first two games of this series. But here's Dugan. Still got to do it. Here's the pitch. And Dugan's going to start it off with a base hit. So there's a man on first there for the Yankees. Benny Bengo will come up to bat. And Miller Huggins brings in Mike Gazella to pinch hit. In 1927, a 278 average. No homers. Nine runs batted in. I'm going to let Aldridge stay out there. Mike Gazella on. Here's the pitch to Gazella. And Gazella drives the ball to center for extra bases. I'll stop the other runner from scoring. And just like that, Gazella's on at second. It's 4-2. to two. And George Pipgrass is the batter. And I think they'll probably bring in a pinch hitter, which he does. And he'll bring in Pat Collins. Batted 275, with seven homers and 36 runs batted in. We can't let I got to pitch to Collins because we got we got 3 out of the next 4 batters are Hall of Famers. But just like that the Yankees now have a runner at second base with nobody out. Let's see if Aldridge can do it. Here's the pitch. That's a walk. So Collins goes to first. Runners at first and second and now Earl Combs and now and now he's a lefty. And it looks like I'm going to pray have to take Aldridge out so got to do something here and let's see who we got we got Kevin Gross we got Seven Gross and we got I don't know how to pronounce his name but Yiddy uh, let's see 9.71 3.83 coming into pitch for the Pittsburgh will be Mike Seven Gross Two wins, one loss, a 3.33 ERA. He's basically in there for the right-hander, for, for the lefty. He's actually going to go against Koenig, Ruth, and Gehrig. Koenig is a switch hitter, but he's going to be in there to try to see if he can get the game done. Runners at first and second. Earl Combs at the plate. Nobody out. Top of the ninth. Four to two. Miller Huggins brings in Ray Moorhart to pinch run. Here's the pitch to Combs. It's a ground ball to Wright. It's an error by Wright. Wright commits a huge error. That's the second error by the Pirates. Bases loaded for Koenig. Oh, the, and the fans here just can't believe Wright. That could have been a double play, but he commits the error. Bases loaded. Koenig at the plate. I got to let Seven Gross take a chance. Here's the windup. The pitch, this is a line out to short. Huge play this time. Wright snags it in the air. One out. And now, of course, look who's up. The babe. Well, 
even a walk here might not be a bad idea, but you got Ruth and Garrick. So people, if you're watching this right now, it, it, this can't get any more stressful. I'll leap Seven Gross in there. I'll check him out real quick, see if I can get a visit the mound, see what he's doing. No fatigue. Bases loaded, top of the ninth. Babe Ruth at the plate. Bases loaded. <sighs> is what is going to happen, what I think is going to happen? Nope, it's a fly ball to right. It's caught. The run will score. Morehart goes to third. Just got under it. I thought that was gone. Almost might have been gone. But he makes the catch. It's now four to three. Garrick now at the plate. Runners at the, the tying run is at third. The go-ahead runs at first. The crowd on their feet here at Forbes Field. Top of the ninth now. Two big errors has allowed New York to get runs. Garrick is the batter. The pitch from Seven Gross. It's a ground ball to first. Harris will make it. He'll tag the bat. And the Pittsburgh Pirates not only escape, they take a 2-0 series lead. Baseball fans, Stratomatic fans, I'm actually surprised I'm up two games to none. But again, the Pirates shut down Murderer's Row on some key base, on some key plays. And I think the play was right making the snare out. But what unbelievable that is. The Pirates win the game 4-3. to three, And we take a 2-0 series lead as we'll head back to Yankee Stadium for games 3 and 4. Let's take a look at the box score. For the Pirates, Aldridge is going to get the win. He gave up three runs on seven hits. Only two of them were earned, though. He struck out five. Seven Gross gets the save. Pipgrass takes the loss. He gave up four runs on nine hits. For the Yankees, Earl Combs was two for four with an RBI. Ruth had an RBI, but didn't get any hits. That was on a that was on a uh, that was on a sack. But pretty much, pretty much, the Yankees were kept quiet. For the Pirates. I got to give it to Paul Wayner. Three for four, two runs scored in RBI. Joe Harris was two for four with two RBIs. As the fans here in Pittsburgh can't believe it, but their, Yank but their Pirates are up two games to none. The Yankees left 10 on base. And there were two errors, one by Wright and one by Gooch. But that one up by Wright almost cost the Pirates the game, but they managed to hold out. Fans... I'm up two games to none in a, in a World Series where I figured I should have no chance in. But this is how the dice are rolling. And amazing how this wound up. We're going to have game three coming up in a couple of days. I'll take a break before, before, uh, before, I'll take a day break before we head back to Pittsburgh or before we head back to Yankee Stadium. I hope everyone's enjoying this. I sure am. I'll see you for game three in a couple. Once again, final score here. The Pirates beat the Yankees 4-3 and now lead the series two games to none. See you next time, everyone.